Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the historic center of Pienza in northern Italy. So this is the town of Pienza in Tuscany in northern Italy. And not much is known about its history prior to the 1300s. It seems to have been just another town. But in 1405, the town's history changed forever when a man named Aeneas Silvius Piccolomini was born right here into the ruling family. Now he went on to become Pope Pius II. And later in his life, while he was the Pope, he came back to his hometown and decided he was going to make it his summer retreat from Rome. And what he did, he had the whole city bulldozed and rebuilt according to new Renaissance principles of town planning that were partly his doing. And there are many buildings here still standing from that era. So let's check it out. So this is the cathedral here in Pienza and it's sitting right on the main square and of course it is one of the buildings constructed by Pope Pius II. And it's actually probably the smallest cathedral I think I've ever seen and you can see as well that it's got the Pope symbol both above the main door and right at the top of the facade as well. Now the other cool thing about the facade is that it's actually one of the earliest Renaissance cathedrals anywhere in the world. So during the rebuilding of the town, Pope Pius II declared that it was officially a city, no longer a town. And because of that, it needed a new town hall, a Palazzo Comunale. And that's the building you can see behind me. What's also interesting is that not only did he declare it a town, he also renamed it after himself, Pius Pienza. Prior to this, it was actually known as Consignone. Now when the town was being rebuilt, of course the Pope wanted residences for him to stay in. And this is the main one that was built, the Palazzo Piccolomini, named of course after himself. And this is where he lived, this is where he worked. It's quite large, there's three stories, it's got a big internal courtyard. Unfortunately it's closed for the winter so we can't go and have a look. But it is probably one of the biggest buildings in town. And of course, as Pope, he also had a very large entourage of cardinals and secretaries and other associated helpers. And so he encouraged them to build palazzos here in town as well. Also facing the square is a palazzo built by Cardinal Rodrigo Borgia, who later became the controversial Pope Alexander VI. He was the one with the mistresses and the kids. So you might be thinking, going back to your hometown and just bulldozing everything so you can build palaces for your rich friends isn't the nicest thing you could do. And I suppose it isn't. But what he did do was he built houses for the people displaced by new buildings like the cathedral and the piazza. And these behind me are some of those buildings. It's on a street known as Casa Nuova or New House. And yeah, there's 12 brand new for the time houses that were built to house families displaced by new buildings. I think that's pretty cool. But that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.